Hello, everybody. I fell down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, new boat. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Methods. Hello. And today we want to show you this infinitely ice platform maker. <laughs> so this was an idea we had for a long time. Um, Helvins uh, had this idea of, after watching Simply Sark's video about the uh, possibility to push armor stands with frost rocker boots. And finally, with the observer blocks, we made a version that works yeah, pretty well. So here we are in, in the end, and you already see the benefits. We made a 1500 block long uh, ice pathway, and any minute, second, we should uh, reach the duper. So we are at 1500 already at the boats, you go at approximately 40 blocks per second, and here we are. So my first is already arriving. He helped a lot with the uh, duper, it's yeah, compacting it, it and it's quite nice. Um, maybe we'll explain first how it works. So over here, um, that's a mock-up of the system. Here we push a sticky piston, one forward, and this observer would instantly activate him. And then it grabs a frosted ice block. Okay, okay, all right. So then the frosted ice block is moved over this position, forms a water source, and yeah, the water source forming. Um, the, after that, we have six water sources. And then the next step, we just have to push the uh, armor stand of the frost frost walker boot one forward, and then repeat the process. Uh, I guess we have to just to push it. Okay. Yeah, and the big array here basically does the same, uh, just stacked it a lot. So this is a 35 white version. In the intro, I showed you, a, I think, a 110 white version. And just have to remove this <coughs> immovable block. And then update the, uh, the piston in the back here. And this one is more. Then it would start. And the machine moves at uh, 1.1 meters per second. Yeah, this ice machine is especially useful in the end dimension, in the overworld. Um, if you're working at daylight, then the frosted ice would melt. It would also do that in the end. But since there's no skylight in the end, end dimension, the ice would stay as long as you don't yeah, melt it with a, a block source. Okay, here we are back at the overworld. Of course, at nighttime, so the ice doesn't melt. Um, and you could use the frosted ice in order to make smooth stone out of it. Uh, so. Methods do the lava fill command. So the <laughs> lava would melt the frosted ice and then would instantly turn into cobblestone or smooth stone even. But yeah, don't run this machine in your uh, overworld at a yeah, really high altitude because if all the ice sources would melt at once, there's a chance with the water spreading that it would crash your server. So as you can see, we already have a lot of frame problems here. So be careful with it um, in the overworld. So as I said, the design is tidable and you could even build um, another platform right next to it. So you just need to cut off this little part here on the side uh, for the next machine, and then you could build it um, on this side here. Th then, yeah, it would fit exactly. So here on the side, we just have those railings so the ice doesn't flow out, um, but you could use the ice from, from the first uh, flying machine uh, as a railing. So you just have to cut out the side, and then you could yeah, make an infinitely wide platform out of it. So I would say let's uh, start with a short tutorial. So here we already built up um, the bottom part. Um, yeah, it's quite easy. Uh, maybe we, we'll repeat it uh, once. Maybe Method can build it up. So that's the outside part. Then yeah, we also need to attach some uh, observers to the bottom here. and one in the back here. And this one is uh, moved to the back a little bit, so uh, the slime blocks don't touch each other. So it's pretty straightforward. Every piston gets powered by an observer, basically. Yeah. Here you have these cases where you can power two of them with one observer. Okay, and then um, um, we'll just add those slime blocks here, then a normal piston every second block. 
Okay, can connect those slime blocks. Put an observer on the top. And then we could push this whole structure. And here we just have an um, yeah, instant. Um, so this is synchronized. If I would update the first piston here, I would update this flying machine here, or an engine, and then everything, all of them would uh, react at the same time, as you can see here. So then we could chain it again. Uh, so here we would have the next segment with uh, normal pistons and so on, and this way you can infinitely stack it. Okay, now let's continue with this 5 white design. If you want to see uh, how this is tileable, um, you should check out the world download. But let's continue with the 5 white design. So here we put down some ice. And in the middle we place an armor stand with Frostwalker 2 boots. Um, maybe your methods can yep. place those. I All right. Here we need uh, just some sticky pistons uh, and a normal block iron. Okay. Also some blocks on the side here, so they they would prevent uh, the water from leaking. This uh, yeah saves on lag because yeah, water spreading down would cause a lot of lag. So in the back here we place this observer which powers this iron block. Then we put another slime block on top, and the whole thing will be pushed by a normal piston right here. Okay, now in the back of this sticky, uh, no, it's a normal piston, put down the slime block st structure. This would push uh, the armor stand, and then on top, place down an observer. And how do we have it? Redstone yeah, like block. This. Redstone block on top, normal piston. And again, slime block in the back here. Oh, normal block. Normal block? Yep. Oh, normal block. Okay. Then sticky piston, slime block, and a normal block, and a redstone block on top. Okay, now we also need to fill up this trench here with water. And now we can connect the bottom and the top part. So my thoughts go ahead. So it first he removes uh, the redstone blocks so it doesn't accidentally activate the machine. Now he places down uh, normal blocks against it. Here he goes out by HD blocks. And here we have a sticky piston observer on top. Directly in front of the sticky piston and another slime block. So this will be moved forward by one. And the other sticky piston would grab this part here and drags it along. Now he adds a normal piston and a redstone block on top. And this is connected to the caterpillar engines. So here we chain two caterpillar en engines. Uh, so in total, this machine would move every uh, 18 game ticks. That's approximately 1.1 times per second. So those are sticky pistons, normal pistons, slime blocks in between. Now it connects the second caterpillar engine to the first one. And this will be updated by this um, block here. Now let's add all the redstone blocks again that we need. Okay. It's also important that this slime block tower here uh, never touches the frosted ice because uh, yeah, it would drag it along. Okay, I think we're done here. I um, would also recommend to put in a non movable block first. So if I update or start the machine, just would move one block. We're ready to go with methods? Yep. Okay, let's be try. Good. And I think the first time there's always yeah. some leakage. I guess that's normal. Let's try it once more. So now, yeah, it fills it up better with ice. Yeah. So I guess the first time sometimes yeah. the armor stand does not make ice. Hmm. We don't know why. <laughs> Maybe if you would if you would use frosted ice here instead of the normal ice blocks, this, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's, it's only loud, no, let's move it a few blocks so as you can see it really works. Now we could also add an AFK spot. So if you want to AFK, for example, in the end dimension, if you want to go out to far away entities to raid yeah, some entities for Schalker shells, 
Um, by the way, this machine is eight high, so you could even fly under the lowest um, end islands. So if you build it as low as possible, then you wouldn't even collide with the end islands and could make a pathway below. Also, I tested it out before. If you use boats and go in a straight line, you would move at 40 or 39 blocks per second. So if you want to go out 10,000 blocks with this ice highway, uh, this would just take you four minutes. Okay, now let's add the AFK spot. Here you add uh, two more slime blocks and here another block. Then place a rail here, put a minecart on top, let it fall down. And now I could sit here and by yeah, removing and placing a non movable block, you could stop the engine again. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.